Hello, legends anywhere, anytime. It is time to make some magic happen in part two of Hogwarts Legacy. So now we're doing it, dealing with the Soren hat, and we have to choose with our expectations and our preferences and preconceptions. And personally, I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Oh, they do. Mm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. So, we can still choose a different house. So, uh, I got Hufflepuff when I took the uh, quiz on the... Uh, let me grab my phone here. I have the app on it. <laughs> because, just to prepare. So, the Harry Potter Fan Club. When you use that app, it sets it up. And, uh... I can still go, so I can choose any house I want. But once you choose it, you are locked in. This is your last chance to make that choice. But for me, I think I'll go with Hufflepuff. I mean, if you're a Slytherin, it's the house you want to be in because no one will, no one would ever expect a true Slytherin to hide in the house of badgers. And let's put it this way. Badgers are mean. <laughs> For an example, look up the honey badger. That's all you need to know. Look up a honey badger. Better be Hufflepuff. So we're the sort who makes an entrance. And let's put it this way, yellow and black are good colors together. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been canceled. Oh, you evil. Well, that's Enough. why he's so hated. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. <laughs> you are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I um. said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. And that was telling you all, get out of here, go to your classrooms. Or I mean, Quite common roads. Entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already greatly enjoying this game. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff High words exactly. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. <laughs> you must tap the barrel Two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Cool, huh? Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night of Hogwarts. Sleep well. Uh, 
as a bonus i'm right near the kitchen so midnight snacking <laughs> house elves will love me looks like everyone's gone better head to the common room Revelio. Ooh, something to investigate here so our objective is now I need to head to my common room. Sounds as though there are some voices coming from nearby. Perhaps I should follow them. Please tell me I can save now. Yes! Uh, some morning tea. Well, wouldn't be Commonwealth or British without it. Let's get a snack like an apple. Oh, I really need to set my keybinds for this game. It's gonna be so good. Rebellion. So nice. Snacks to plenty, which is so nice. Ooh. This is this is just a beautiful common room. That's probably Poppy. So once I learn uh, Incendio, I can light that, which is a smart move. Rebellion. And uh, this chest is uh, very important. Oh, okay. So we'll find 13 tokens to open that chest and it gives you a really cool uh, set. Here we go. I suppose some introductions are in order. So now we gotta go talk to these Rebellion. people. Maybe I can't go. Oh, I can go faster. So Lenora Everlay. There you are. <laughs> there you. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your elf? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Yeah, that was not on purpose. <laughs> and it looks like we discovered Hedwig's ancestor. I'm not worried. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. Somewhat. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenore Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Yes, I do. Actually, let's uh, go and uh, look at this more. So you think you should have been a Ravenclaw? Do you really think you should have been a Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Yep. So, nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Let's see what's up here. <laughs> Holy cow, I didn't realize it. That was to the girl's dorm. That's to the girl's dorm. <laughs> so I'm guessing it'll do the same thing if I go over here. Oh. 
<laughs> I could do that all day. You don't oh, need to be frightened, little okay. cat. Rebellion. Yeah, always use it. Uh, ooh, something hidden back there. But let's talk to Arthur Plumley. Uh, I can't quite reach. Well, uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Everyone does, but that's part Welcome of the exploration. Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. He is missing out. Shame. I think magical beasts are incredible. And I agree. I am such a big fan of mythology and everything. Yeah, that's part of the reason I really like Harry Potter. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Yeah. Uh, let's go and... Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Oh, I will get lost, but hey, at least I have a map. So maybe it won't work that good because it's not Marauder's map and that's still over a hundred years before it's going to be made. Hey, so now let's talk to Adelaide Oaks. Oh, uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yes. <laughs> yes, I was. Unfortunately, someone was gobbled by a dragon. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Is your uncle all right? Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. There you is go. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for Rebellion. him the common room. Oh, Poppy. Yeah, so she's very important for side quests. She's one of the four main ones. So uh, the best one I think to do is uh, the Gryffindor one because they are, uh, I've done some research and they say they unlock a lot more. But oh, this is so nice, this entrance. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Oh, fine. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Ah. Uh, there you go. Part of 
of the test is to what find is the pages. This is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Well, good thing I'm smart. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. So, what I was going to say is good thing I'm smart because I have to fit in five years in one year. Professor Weasley gave me something called a wizard's field guide. I should follow her Rebellion. and see what she can teach me about it. Ah, uh, there is one there, but I can't use it, so. But yeah, the these locations are so nice. To practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. And Using there is. The will also train you to be Ooh, we can weld. Do keep up. So that was our first glimpse of Peeves, who unfortunately was cut out of the first Harry Potter movie and never showed up in any other one, even though he had a big spot part in the Battle of Hogwarts. Simply cast Revelio on it. And we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Collect the page. Rumor to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the century. Some dishes, like pickled dirigible plums, are likely to be, have an acquired taste. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completed challenges appear here. So escape to open the field guide. So this is your wizard level. XP earned from challenges increases your levels and level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select challenge menu to continue. So it shows our overall life progress, 1%. Selecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. So let's see. So each tier has tiers. Well, yeah, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. And we'll exit. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. So let's bring it up. So let's see the challenge I have unlocked. So I have to get two pages. So gear. So I currently actually let's equip that. Go back. Face war. Yeah, I don't need it. Headwear. You know what? We'll keep that one. Outfit. Oh, so I have the prefect vest uniform right away. Uh, don't need the scarf. Books and robes. Keep that. Those aren't unlocked, so an inventory. Collections. So I have lilac, dark arts, scarf, lightning. Yeah, so uh, these are the unlocks I got from pre ordering and taking advantage of the drops from Twitch. Well, let's see here. So yeah, challenges, already checked on those. Map. 
Yeah, so look at this. So I'm right here. So Z and X just uh, boots me to the next place. Rotate. Zoom in. Press. So welcome to Hogwarts. Follow Professor Weasley. And we have our save points. Yeah. Gonna have to go through this a lot more. So much to do. Rebellion. Okay, this is a uh, part of a puzzle t to be done later. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, so M to open map. And Central Hall. So Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. And includes the house common rooms and the great hall. Select the great hall region to continue. Select. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use A and D to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flu flames with space. So A and D. I just need to click here. And... We are traveling with my first loading screen since I started this game. Everything and else is pretty are. well hidden. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Rebellion. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Yeah. There's a lot to do here. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Professor Weasley says she has more to show me. I should follow her to find out what she has in mind. Every time, every time that changes, you want to check and read it. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. So, what's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Hey, and uh, defense against the arcs, dark arts is exactly why I say it, what uh, it sounds like. But let's see what she says. Can you tell me more about the defense against the dark arts class? Defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to ace that class if I want to finish this game. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Okay, so thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. 
He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Oh, yeah. This one, I'll say truth there is, in fact, but she won't know anything more. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. They Speak stumbled the over something. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. He needed to talk to us anyways. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Yes. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yes. So, T. So, this is our spell list. So, first, basic. Second, Revelio, Protego, and then Stupefy. Yeah, so Avada Kavar, Crucio, Kirio, Avetscano. That's going to be helpful. Alteran, Conjurin, Wingardian Leviosa. Oh, nice. Ruparo, that's going to be so helpful. Lumos, allows you to see in dark places or solve puzzles that require extra life. That light, that one I'll go over later. Disillusionment, Incendio, Simplingo, Lipindo, Deliarmus, Barbarda, Lipindo, Descendo, Depulso, Accio, Transformation. Levioso, Glacius, and Arresto Momentum. So, deals minor damage, highlights a variety of useful and interactive objects, protects against spellcast weapon strikes, wait until the last moment to do a per perfect that uh, reflects and uh, breaks enemy shields, not only damages them, and stun spells making them easy targets. So I can't change anything there, but that's cool. And once again, I'm going to go to settings and we're going to save the game. And we'll come back in the next part because we do have a lot to explore here. Revelios. After we talk to Professor Fig. So this is Zach at SemduPlays.com. And as always, if you've liked the content, interact with the channel by sharing, commenting, liking, subscribing. Turn on those notifications, visit stumptoblaze.com, and remember, we are all legends making magic.